Hi everybody, it is time for math. Now we are going to continue learning about subtraction and we know that addition and subtraction are not the same because addition, when you put two numbers together, it makes a bigger number. But with subtraction, the number gets smaller. So an easy way to remember that is subtraction smaller so they both excuse me they both begin with s so subtraction and smaller both begin with s so we know with subtraction we need a smaller number now we have learned two different ways to show our subtraction the first being using objects around the house. So I have counters, you can use crayons, you can use toys, using objects to sew subtraction. We also have learned using our fingers. Well, today we are going to be drawing a picture to match. So what you're going to do today, kind of like an art class, we are going to have crayons, we're gonna need a pencil, and you're gonna need your 12.3 worksheet. So I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so you're gonna need crayons, a pencil, and your 12.3 worksheet. And anytime you're writing a number, it needs to be in pencil. Okay, let's get started. So, the first thing we always do is read the directions. All right, read the directions. It says, using pictures to subtract. Listen to the subtraction problem, draw a picture to match, and write the answer. Okay, let's read this together, ready? There are six frogs in the pond. Two frogs hop away. How many are left? So we are actually gonna start off with the bigger number. So we have six frogs in the pond, so let's draw six frogs, one two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna add my faces in. Gotta draw the eyes and a smile. So you should be drawing six frogs. All right, so I got my six frogs. Next, what they want us to do is to show two frogs hopping away. So I want you to grab your pencil. And how many frogs are we gonna cross out? We're going to cross out two. One, two. So how many are left? Let's see. One, two, three, four. So there are four frogs left on the pond. So six, take away two, is four. All right, I'm going to move on. If you need a few more moments to catch up, just pause the video. Let's read the next problem. The next problem says, there are eight pigs in the mud. Four pigs get out of the mud. How many are left? So let's draw eight pigs. One, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight. Remember, you gotta make your pictures 
Oh, my goodness, what is happening? There we go. Okay, that was a little bizarre, but we all know Mrs. Boards and Technology never work together. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna add the ears, a smile, and two eyes, and a I'm on my last one. Remember if I'm going a little bit too fast, just slow it down and pause it for you. Okay, so let's make sure I have eight pigs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what they want us to do is they want to show four pigs getting out of the mud. So with my pencil, how many pigs am I going to cross out? I'm gonna cross out four. One, two, three, four. All right, so how many pigs do I have left in the mud? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we know that eight take away four is four. Right. The next one, you're gonna probably wanna use a yellow crayon. So it says, there are seven chickens in the coop. Five chickens fly away. How many are left? So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I'm just gonna draw beaks on them so we know they're chickens. Beaks and an eye. All right, so you should have seven chickens in your problem. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven chickens. Now, with our pencil, they want us to figure out how many fly away. So we have five chickens fly away. So how many chickens am I going to cross off? I'm going to cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. So how many chickens are left? Let's see, one, two. Two chickens are left. So we learned that seven take away five is two. All right, so I want you to try to do the last one by yourself. I'm gonna read the instructions and then I want you to try it by yourself. So it says, there are nine dogs in the yard. Four dogs go inside. How many are left? All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and I want you to try your best and then I will come and... All right, so I already drew my nine dogs. I made the dogs with the floppy ears. So we have nine dogs in the yard and four dogs go inside. So how many dogs am I going to cross out with my pencil? That's right, I'm going to cross out four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-
three, four. So how many dogs do I have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five dogs left in the yard. So nine take away four is five. All right, awesome job. Oh my goodness, with the front page. When you are ready, I would like you to flip over to the fluency side. All right, so this one is using subtraction with our fingers. So I'm gonna do the first two with you, and then the rest of it is on your own. So this one says one, wait, I'll do it this side. One, take away zero. So one, take away zero fingers. So how many fingers do I have left after taking away zero? I have one. So one, take away zero is one. All right, let's do the next one. This says three, take away two. So start off with three fingers and then take away two. One, two. How many fingers do I have left? I have one. So three take away two is one. Okay, so I want you to try to do the rest of the page by yourself and post all your work when you are done. You guys did a great job today and I am sure your drawings look a lot better than mine, okay? Have fun and I will see you later. Bye.